Come, I command you to rise. The people of Gomer has sinned against the Most High. Their leaders has committed transgressions against humanity and shed innocent blood. I command you to rise and destroy our enemies and bring justice to our land. I command you to rise. Hello everyone. And welcome back to another tutorial. If you kindly hit that subscribe button to give this video a thumbs up. Please like and share and subscribe. I really appreciate it. This video is going to be a very interesting video. I'm going to show you how to create a volcano in Aldes Maya. But this is going to be a two-part series. Okay. So this first part, I'm going to show you how to use the soft modification tool and how to use the scope tool. And we're going to actually build this um, volcano from just for using a simple plane. So guys, I'll give you some real good content here. So show me some love by sharing this video. I'll share it to as many people as you can to help boost this channel up, okay? I just made it over a thousand, uh, I'm sorry, a hundred subscribers. Thank God, yes, thank God for that. So, um, but I think we could do better. We could do much, much, much better, okay? So, this is going to be a great two-part series. I'm going to show you how to build a volcano. We're going to create the terrain. And then we're going to make the smoke on the second video because it will be too much to put everything in this one video. So we're going to do it in two parts, okay? All right, so let's start. <clears throat> the first thing we do, we're going to create a plane. All right. Then we'll turn it around this way. Okay, then we're going to kind of scale it out just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Then we're going to add the, um, the subdivisions. We'll create 50-50. Okay. Then we're going to go under the, the we, we, we're under the modeling tool right here. So when you go here, <clears throat> you'll hit the modeling tool, tool right here, the menu right here. This is what you want. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go under the form. Click down there. Then we'll go on the soft modification tool. Click on that. And I did a video on how to use the soft modification tool, but I haven't got very many views on that. So I would advise you to watch that video before you come and watch this video. So, okay, let's do the fallout radius just a little bit more. Make it just a little bit bigger. Okay. Then we're just going to scale it up. This is, this is going to be your actual volcano. This is going to be the volcano right here, okay? This is how, see how simple this, this is? Very simple. Okay, then we're going to kind of scale the top down just a little bit. Kind of give it like a point. Maybe just like that. Okay? Not bad, not bad at all. See how simple? Very simple, guys. Very, very simple. I'm showing you some simple ways how to create some awesome content and don't have that much skill with Maya. Anybody can do this. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to work on the rest of this plane. Create some hills. Use the fallouts a little bit more. Right 
here, use the fallout, just cover some more areas. back here Okay, there we go. Uh, so right there too. Put some more hills around that volcano. Okay, this is not bad. Okay. Gotta get in there just a little bit right there. Okay, there we go. So we got our volcano here. So the second thing I want to do, I want to create maybe like a little cone at the top of this volcano. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll go into edit mesh. I'm sorry, the mesh tool. We're going to use the sculpture tool. Then we're going to scroll down to the grab tool. We're going to focus it right here on the top. Let me see. Let's get just a little closer. Just paint it just a little tiny bit more. A little tiny bit more. All right. Just kind of grab that down a little bit more. There we go. All right, so that's our hole for the volcano. And then if you want to smooth it out just a little bit, we go back to the um, mesh tool again, and we go on the smooth tool. So we're going to smooth it out maybe just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, there's your volcano right there. See how, see how easy this is? Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to put a texture map on this volcano. We're almost done with this part. Go back to Lambert. Go to Color. Go to File. Okay, I got my texture in, in this um, folder called the Picture Folder. Mountain Texture Ice. That's the one I want to use. Click that. Let's go on the texture so you can see it that has been placed on this geometry. All right, there we go. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, the last thing we're going to do, is that we're going to add a fractal bump map on this terrain. So we go on to bump mapping right here. You click on that and you want to use what you call fractal bam see how that terrain changed see how it looks okay then we're we'll going to under the fractal one and then under aptitude we just want to take it down just a little bit so it can look a little bit more smoother see watch it change as i'm moving this watch how it change watch it change watch it change watch it change 
Then we go down to the bias and take it down just a little bit more. Okay, there you go. That's a simple way to create a volcano. So the next step what we're gonna do on the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to put the smoke and everything in the fire on top of the cone of the volcano on the next tutorial. And then we're gonna add an image plane in the back and then we're gonna add some dark clouds and we're gonna see the smoke goes up and how it goes into the clouds. It's gonna be a very interesting tutorial, okay? So again, subscribe, share this video. Okay, share, subscribe, um, and like this video to help this channel grow. We had 100 subscribers. Congratulations to myself. <laughs> it was a lot of work, but um, I appreciate you for watching this. Okay, I'll see you on the next video.